Hello, and welcome to the Thyroid Warrior Podcast. I'm Ebony, and I'm here as your wellness facilitator. I'm going to be sharing my experiences in managing Hashimoto's disease. I really hope that it'll help you on your personal journey. Keep in mind, however, this does not substitute for medical advice. It is only for your information and motivational purposes only. Now, let's get started. Hello, everyone. It is my hope that at the time of this recording that you all are staying safe. And if you have a loved one that is currently suffering with COVID-19, You are in my heart, you're in my thoughts, and you are definitely in my prayers. And because of the current climate that we're in right now, I wanted to take some time over the next few weeks to really and truly look at some of the things that we can unearth as a result of having some extra time to really and truly process what's What's most important for us from a health perspective and from a thyroid health perspective? And one of the biggest things that's really important to me is addressing a lot of the things that are very obvious, but that we're not really thinking about. And the first thing is addressing the elephant in the room, and that is our stress and anxiety. I don't know about you, but there are times in which I am totally fine and there are other times where I am incredibly anxious and in part it is due to the work that I do at the hospital to actually see and hear what's going on in this present time, but also to recognize and understand that my family isn't here with me. So fortunately, I do have a lot of friends and I do have an uncle that is close, but being that we're quarantined, it makes it a lot more difficult to actually be able to have those face-to-face relationships. Now, I have definitely been Zooming and Skyping and all the things, but there comes a point in time in which even that can be overwhelming. So please let me know that I'm not the only one that's just like, okay, I'm over this. (laughs) It's, It's tough, but I really and truly want to talk a little bit more about that whole stress response. And I know so many of us right now are also anxious because you may be newly diagnosed or you may be trying to figure out, okay, this is cool and all, but I need to get my lab values done. Or you may have recently gotten your lab values back and then all of a sudden your TSH may be a little bit high or your free T3 or free T4 may be a little weird. And one of the biggest things that I want to remind you of is right now, even though you may think that you're okay, your body is still processing a lot of what's happening around you. And for many of us, that cortisol or stress hormone is real. And I know that over time, I've tried very hard to get to know my body, to understand when I am physically and emotionally stressed out, even when I don't necessarily think I am. So I want you to take some time to just be still. And it doesn't have to be during this episode. It can be during the day. But I want you to pay attention to that little bit of tightness that you feel in your neck or your shoulders or your jaw. Or what a lot of us know, but we also tend to forget, is you may also kind of clench down, so to speak, as it relates to your teeth and grind your teeth and all those things. 
but also we we brace ourselves and for the most part when I do that I also I brace my core a lot and that is not because I want to get some extra ab workout in or anything like that it's legitimately my response to stress and there was a time in my life where I just got used to receiving bad news and anytime I would see certain family members I would brace myself and I would feel that actual action of my stomach bracing. So I want you to think through what parts of your body are tighter than others. Are there instances where you notice more frequently that you're developing and getting a headache, for example, or your eyes are more tired, or you just are having a hard time feeling comfortable. And that is your body's way of telling you, hey, something's not quite right. And for many of us, you may be sitting a lot more and you may have developed a routine in which you were exercising a lot and now you've experienced a little bit of muscle wasting in that you're, because you're not able to lift as heavy a weight so you may not have weights at home and so you've lost a little bit of that strength that you've gained p.s don't worry you will get that back once we're back to normal don't worry about it it'll be fine but it's it's a very challenging time for our bodies as well so what i also want you to think about is now that we have to adapt to this new normal What's your home life like? Are you still maintaining a routine? Are you getting up at the same time every day? I know many of you have children. What is their routine like? Are they staying up late? Are they getting up early? How are you working to keep things as close to normal as you possibly can? Now, you may chuckle and think there is nothing normal about right now, and I agree with you, but I I want you to try as best as you can to develop a routine during the day because I'll be honest, half the time, I don't even know what day it is, let alone what time it is. But when I started to establish that set routine for myself, it made it a lot easier and my anxiety level started to decrease and I felt more productive. Every hour, I try to move. In the middle of my workday, I get up, I go for a walk. I try very hard to keep it to 10 minutes. Earlier in the morning before I start work, it may be 30 or 40 minutes. And afterwards, it may also be the same time period. But I'm trying very hard to also keep an exercise routine going And really and truly to make sure that I'm keeping my nutrition in check, because I don't know about you, but that first week or so, I was a snack monster. And I very quickly realized that I can't do that because not only did my skin started breaking out, but my stomach decided to tell me, I don't know who you think you are. I don't know what you think you're doing, but the choices that you're making are not wise stop it. And that is my way of basically shielding you from all of the bad things that happened to me as a result of me eating junk food. So I will spare you those details. But I, I, I say all that to say, it's very important for you to keep your nutrition in check. It's important for you to make sure you're sleeping. And What I definitely recommend is before you go to bed at night, try to just wind down. And again, I know that we're doing a lot with technology these days, but establish some type of cutoff. And for me, I have noticed that a lot of my friends and family want to have conversations at five o'clock or six o'clock even And unfortunately, there are times where I'm not done with work until 7 o'clock, 7.30 at night. So it's just not realistic for me at that time. And 
honestly, I don't want to talk anymore because I have been on calls all day and my eyes have been looking at a computer screen. So for me, I just want to chill, relax, and just not talk. And I want you to know that that's okay. And I just went in the bathroom earlier today and I just sat on the floor and just allowed myself to breathe and just decompress. So I want to encourage you with a few things to end out this episode. One, it's okay to feel the way that you're feeling. It's okay to be anxious, to be slightly stressed out. I want you to acknowledge those feelings. The second thing is I want to, I want you to check in with your body. Where are you feeling those tension points? Where are you feeling more tight? Are you bracing yourself? Are you clenching your teeth? Are you grinding? What's going on? Just check in with yourself and see how things are going. The other thing is examine your daily routine. Are you establishing a routine? Do you have one? Or do you have one for your children? Do you have one for yourself and your spouse or just you? If it's you, it's totally fine regardless of what the setup is, but it'll definitely help you to ease some of that tension, stress, and anxiety that you may be having because we're in such a weird state right now. And lastly, what I want you to know and understand that you're not alone. And if at any point you feel like you need to talk to someone, I am at Joyful Ebony on all social media platforms. And you can also email me at hello at joyfulebony.com. So just know and understand that I am here for you. We are going to get through this together and we're going to keep talking about ways to really and truly focus on our well-being over the next couple of weeks. So my thoughts are with you and Be happy, be whole, and be well. Take care. Okay, Thyroid Warriors, get out there and take things one step at a time. Remember, be great, reflect on your triumphs, and as always, be well. Take care.